Um, what's up, Jones Bones? It is your girl, Unitedly Random. And I didn't really plan on recording today. I was actually getting ready to go live on TikTok. However, I had to update Fortnite. So while we're updating Fortnite, I thought I'd go ahead and do a video idea that I've had for all of about two days. Um, so because I am now 26, I was thinking about what type of videos can I do now that I'm 26 and about to turn 27. I know it's kind of late, like I'm about to turn 27 in like a couple days. However, I decided about um, two different videos and they involve ABCs, okay? So I have the, uh, what I think I'm gonna call it is, you know, this is still, you know, I'm still working on it, but I have the ABCs of t being 26. So that's going to be a video in which I give advice um, using the alphabet because there's 26 letters in the alphabet. And then I have the ABCs of being your girl. Okay, your girl, unitedly random, right? And this is the video that we're going to be doing today, okay? Um, the way that I went about this is I looked up a bunch of words that I felt like described me. And so I'm going to sit back and read those words to you and like, I think I might have it on the, like, on the screen, like, ooh, this word. Um, and I'm just gonna talk to you guys about how I feel like these words, uh, describe me. I think they're all adjectives. Um, and on another note, I think this is a great way to learn new words. <laughs> Um, it was really fun to try to figure out which words I wanted to use to describe me and Yeah, it was all because I'm 26. I'm getting ready to turn 27. There's 26 letters in the alphabet So if you are interested in like the words that I picked out to describe me stay right there and if you're not um, Like and share the video even though you're not interested um, By the way, this is this is my Goose or duck? This is my duck goose. He will be here the entire video. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. And we are back. So, these are the words that I have that describe your girl, Unitedly Random. I'll put it down here so I can have the space to put the words there. Um, the very first word is aberrant. A B R wait A B E R R A N T. Aberrant. Departing from an accepted standard. Um, this is an adjective and it's talking about being a deviant or divergent. Um, the next word is baldy. B A W D Y. Baldy. Dealing with sexual matters in a light-hearted manner, okay? Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, and the next word is charismatic, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, like, I tell you, you guys, you might be like, wow, she made this list of words to describe herself and she chose charismatic for C. But yes, I am charismatic because I asked someone else and they said yes. Now, the definition that this website had for charismatic is a person who has charisma, uh, a person who is charming and fascinating. If you are here and you're watching me right now, I must have one of those things, right? Um, also, it said that full of personality, and I think I have a lot of personality. Um, and the next word is daldy. Wait, I didn't spell charismatic. Give me one second. C H. A R I S M A T I C. Charismatic. Um, yeah, and the next word is Doldy. D O W D Y. Now, Doldy means not attractive or fashionable, aka frumpish. And I know, like, you guys might have thought that I was just gonna give myself a bunch of compliments, but I do, do believe that I could be a little dawdy at times, just kind of throw on clothes, you know, like wipe the crust out of my eye and just pop onto the screen. There's been plenty, and I mean plenty of times where I've come on, I'm recording, and a girl got a little uh, drool dried, a little 
boogie boogie in their nose. I think I did a video and I uh, played it back and I was editing it. I was like, I got a freaking booger in my nose right now. I still posted it, but you know what I mean? I'm a little dwabdy. Um, And mind you, I might not be saying all of these words correctly. If you know how to say these words correctly, let me know down below. Um, the next word is eclectic. And this means chosen from various sources. Elect eclectic is <laughs> spelled E-C-L-E-C-T-I-C. -E Those are a lot of C's, but um, the reason I chose electric, or uh, eclectic, eclectic, eclectic. Uh, the reason I chose this word is because I know that about e eclectic being like a like a style of how you put things together and stuff like that, like a eclectic style. I kind of think that my channel is the eclectic channel, right? We don't have one main focus. We're all over the place. If the main focus was going to be me, then yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'm the main focus. But it's a very eclectic style. And it's for acquired taste, okay? Um, and then the next word is facetious. Factitious. F-A-C-T-I-O-U-S. Factitious. This means being incompatible with others. I find that I often don't get along with others. I am the problem. I'm the common thread with all of this, but I think I'm very facetious. The next one is galling. Galling. G-A-L-L-I-N-G. Easily annoyed or provoked. So, like, I feel like at times I can be easily annoyed or provoked by people like I'm not throwing hands but I'm just like mm, I don't fool with you ooh 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 you little mm, mm, mm. I'm not gonna do that. yeah I feel like some people can get to me very easily um maybe easier than other people um and next hectic hectic h-e-c-t-i-c -E okay hectic Full of inconsistent or frantic activity. This is what we're about. This is what Unitedly Random is about. Frantic. Chaotic. Okay. Ding. Um, and next we have inconsistent. <laughs> inconsistent. <laughs> I-N-C-O-N-S. I S T E N T inconsistent. I'm quite inconsistent. Very so look, if you don't know what inconsistent means, just just stay, watch my channel, you will see the days, the, the content, everything. Inconsistent. I threw myself under the bus. Okay, again, for those who think I was just gonna use good adjectives to describe myself, you're wrong. Next, jammy. Guess what jammy means? Jammy. I'm very jammy. You know, that's me using it as a sentence. I was giving you help. And like, also, I might be looking over to the side and like, I'm not really making eye contact with the camera right now because I'm reading this. And also, I wanted to set up so that my Fortnite could be ready by the end of this. Okay, so like, we're all over the place. Been around the world, don't speak the language. Um, but you don't really need to understand something, something, talk dirty to me. Um, jammy means being blessed and fortunate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm blessed. Like, let me tell you, everything works out for me. Everything works out for me. Like, not even gonna lie. Like, even when it doesn't feel like it's working out for me, everything works out for me. Like, it is the flex that I think it is. You feel me? Um, and next, kooky. Kooky. Also, jammy was J-A-M-M-Y for those who want to, you know, start sprinkling that in your life. Be like, I'm jammy today. <laughs> jammy, jammy. Um, kooky. Kooky. K-O-O-K-Y. Being silly and foolish. I think I'm a little kooky. I think I'm a little kooky. Come on. <laughs> I'm kooky. 
I'm kooky, you know? Like, again, you guys thought I was just gonna be nice to myself. It was all gonna be like, Aaliyah, you're number one. Aaliyah, you are number one, but you're kooky, okay? Um, next, lenient, oh! Lenient, lenient, L-E-N-I-E-N-T, lenient. Oh, I, this is one of these qualities where you just, oh! Yeah, I hate it about yourself. Like, I'm just, I'm just, oh, I'm just, ooh, 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 lenient, mm. Cause this is just, I feel like whenever I see lenient, like when I use lenient, I was like, that is me. I am very lenient. Like, I don't have boundaries. If you guys aren't new, you have seen that I was talking about boundaries before in the past. I've been talking about boundaries presently. Uh, Aaliyah realized that she needs to work on her boundaries, but lenient. Lenient means more merciful or tolerant than expected. I am more merciful and tolerant than what you could expect from me in certain situations. And uh, I need to work on that. Next, motherly. Motherly, and I'm not just saying that because of the mommy milkers. I think I have a motherly trait about me. Look at me holding my holding my baby right now. Holding my baby. Let me just let me just get this for the thumbnail. Oh baby. Oh my baby. My baby. Okay, okay. Go. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Tap out. Tap out. Um <laughs> But yeah, motherly. Motherly is M-O-T-H-E-R-L-Y. Motherly. Motherly means mm -mm -mm, relating to mother-like nature. And next we have nascent. 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 N-A-S-C-E-N-T. Nascent. Beginning to emerge or develop. I'm just getting started. I'm just getting started. I'm just getting start, start, start started. Um, and then we have overexcited. <laughs> I made these words yesterday. <laughs> like, even though I made these words yesterday, I never really plan out how I'm gonna say things. Like, I like to just kind of be there in the moment. But like, overexcited. Yeah, you need me to, I'll, I'll spell it out for you. O-V-E-R-E-X-C-I-T-E-D. Marked by excessive excitement. Overexcited. Oh, next I have philosophical. Philosophical. Philo philosophical. 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 I like philosophies. Um, but philosophical, people, please, please let, let me know how to say that word. Um, P-H-I-L-O-S-O-P-H-I-C-A-L, philosophical, and inclined towards philosophy and theory. Very, I, I thought, I thought about it before. How do I become a, what do you mean, like a, phil a philosopher? How do I become a philosopher? Like, like, you guys sign up for that? You just gotta read a lot? Like, how I become a philosopher? I think I might be a, like, the philosopher side of TikTok. Not TikTok, but philosopher side of YouTube. Like, some type of philosophize, you know what I mean? You don't see a lot of women philosophers. I, I've never really looked into it, but, like, I just think it's interesting. Next, quinquizotic, quizotic, 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 okay? And, okay, so when I saw this word, I was like, this is me. But also, it reminded me of Don Quixote. So, Don Quixote is just like, dang, I was a Spanish major, and I can't even, like, explain it to you. But Don Quixote was this man who was just, like, kind of, like, insane. And he had, like, a lot, of, a lot of tall tales about Don Quixote in Spanish literature, okay, because I was a Spanish major, and we had to read a little bit of it. Not too much, but, like, a little bit of it. Um, so... I think this is where that word comes from, but I'm not sure. But quixotic. And this is disposed to imaginations and fancy thoughts. Which is, that's why I think it's, it's like, has some something to do with Don Quixote. Okay? And I'm just like, okay, yes. 
that's me imaginations fancy thoughts okay um and that is spelled q u i x o t i c kizotic uh and next the next word we're at r random <laughs> random <laughs> Um, I spell it for you, but it's in my name. <laughs> um, and let's continue. Sarcastic. Sarcastic. I'm pretty sure, like, a lot of you guys already know how to spell sarcastic, but S-A-R-C-A-S-T-I-C. And when I said I'm pretty sure you guys already know how to, like, spell sarcastic, I wasn't being sarcastic, but, like, sarcastic marked with sarcasm and irony um and the next word is talkative like we've been on here for about 15 minutes oh my goodness i thought i was talking fast though 15 minutes talkative being inclined to talks or conversations talkative is spelled t-a-l-k-a-t-i-v-e the next word is unconstrained. I am unconstrained. Not being constrained or restricted. Unconstrained is spelled U-N-C-O-N-S-T-R-A-I-N-E-D. Unconstrained. 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 Um, we got 79 more seconds on Fortnite. And um, next we have Vargit. Vargan, 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 V A G R A N T, Vargan, Vargan. Um, pretty much just saying being a wanderer and having no fixed place to stay. I feel like you know I am overseas right now and I'm living here for like a year, but still I feel like I don't really necessarily have a fixed place to stay. Like I don't know if I will be staying in America for the rest of my life. I don't know if I'll be. Oh well, I definitely probably won't be staying here for the rest of my life unless I die here. Um, but you know what I mean. I don't have like a fixed place where I'm just like this is home. Even America doesn't feel like home to me. So I feel like to a certain extent, I am still wandering around and I have no fixed home. I uh, very much feel, I didn't mean to get dark, but I, I do sometimes very much feel alone in this world. Even though I have Stuart and everything, I just, I don't know, I don't have that family system to rely on. And that that is what made me put their bargain on here. And then next, like, it got really dark for a second. It, like, it got really dark. Um, wary. Very wary. Wary. Uh, W-A-R-Y. And I think this is the shortest word on here, actually. But wary. I'm very, I'm very much so being overwatchful and dubious of everything. Um, did these do, these, all of these words describe me to a certain extent. And I wouldn't say that I'm completely wary over everything, but I have a very high amount of wariness. Um, I'm trying to protect myself the best way I know how. And obviously I realize that I'm not really good at protecting myself. So I'm working on that, you know, I'm really working on that. And um, next is xenodocile. Genostrosal. Okay, look, I had to look up an X word and I was like, man, I don't know the meaning of this word or not even I don't know the meaning of this word. There's not a lot of X words that you can just think of to describe oneself, right? So I did put this word down. It's, uh, this is, this, you all want to write this one down because, uh, I think it's an interesting word. X-E-N-O-D-O-C-H-I-A-L. Uh, And this word is talking about being friendly to strangers. It's just a fancy word to say friendly, right? Um, and I put this word down because it goes all the way back to, I want to say lenient. It goes all the way back to, um, I want to say lenient but also hectic you know i don't know if that makes sense but um i'm very friendly with strangers 
even though I don't think I have to be friendly with strangers, realistically, I don't need to be friendly with strangers. Being friendly with strangers puts me in dangerous positions. I need to have more barriers up to me. Um, but yeah, friendly to strangers. And next, I have Yearnful. Yearnful. Y-E-A-R-N-F-U-L. Yearnful. Um, this is to have the strong desire to get something. And I am very yearnful, yearnful um, for my success. I'm very yearnful for me becoming something that even I don't know who I will be. You know what I mean? I'm very yearnful for the future. And so that's another word that I put down. And the last word, this word, um, this word makes me smile. <laughs> This word makes me smile. You guys might want to write this down, okay? You might want to write this one down. This is like, I want to say, I have some favorite words on here, but this might be my favorite word on this entire list. And it's zaftig. 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 Z-O-F-T-I-G. Zaftig. Now, zaftig means having a plump, and sexually attractive figure. And that is all for the ABCs of your girl. Much love and positive vibes. And I hope to see you guys again next time. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you can think of other words to describe your girl, Unitedly Random, can you leave them down below? Maybe I need to do a part two. Like, what do other, how do other people describe your girl? You know what I mean? Um, and so other than that, much love and positive vibes. And we will do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. What song is in my head? We will, we will rock you. Rock you. <laughs> that wasn't the song, but yeah, that's where we're at. <laughs>